Florida is already dealing with a myriad of invasive species, including the Burmese python, Malaleuca, Brazilian pepper, capybara, and now an invasive fern is overtaking the Loxahatchee Wildlife Refuge, the remaining piece of the northern Everglades in Palm Beach County. It's called Ligodium. We're going to check it out by air today and see how bad the problem is. The north end of the refuge has had a long history of really bad Melaleuca and invasive Ligodium. And you can see what it does. It blankets the tree island. As you look out, you'll see these white sticks poking up, and uh, bit, those yeah. are actually uh, dead melaleuca trees that have been treated in the past. Staff has been working pretty hard up here in, in recent years to get these last remaining dense stands of old world climbing fern and uh, melaleuca under control. South Florida Water Management District owns the land. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has been leasing it since at least the 1950s. The problem right now is the old world climbing fern and that's the crux of the issue between the South Florida Water Management District and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife. We uh, voted to uh, send a notice of non-compliance to encourage our federal partners to come up with the money they need to, um, to control the exotics out there. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife was required to have the Ligodium, the Old World Climbing Fern, eradicated by 2017. As we saw today, that's not going to happen. Maybe they're going to be able to renegotiate the contract. If they can't, the implications are unknown. Get someone's attention in Washington and maybe we can make some progress on getting the project properly funded. This is Kimberly Miller with the Palm Beach Post. Don't forget to check out my weather blog at palmbeachpost.com.